Hi everyone, I'm Nathan from TheEvilCreator.com. I'm going to give you guys a review of the new uh, 7 inch $49 Kindle Fire for this video. Uh, I'll walk you through the features, show you some different things about this tablet, how it differs from the more expensive models. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the uh, software first, then we can go ahead and talk about the new operating system. They got a new uh, operating system on this uh, generation of tablets. So uh, first off with the hardware, uh, like I said, it's a 7 inch tablet, it's got the 1024 uh, by 600 resolution screen. On the back here, it's just a regular hard plastic. We've got a speaker down here in the what, the far corner. It's just got one speaker. The other tablets have two, the newer ones. And then up here in the corner, we got a camera. Uh, right here is the newest addition to the Kindle lineup. It's really surprising to see Amazon finally add support for micro SD cards. It's underneath this slot right there. You can uh, stick a, a micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes in here to really expand the uh, memory a lot further because it only comes with eight uh, eight just uh, standard. I think the other ones have the option for 16 and 32 but this one just has the eight gigabytes. Then up here on the top edge we've got the uh, power button. Uh, that's the charging port and the USB port. You can transfer content uh, with your computer and charge it right there as a microphone and then the volume buttons are right there and along with a headphone jack so everything's along that one edge right there. Okay so let's talk a little bit about the new operating system now. So the old Fire tablets they had this a carousel on the home screen where every new item got listed. Uh, you didn't have much control over layout or anything. Um, we kind of have this new uh, setup now. Uh, I really like the fact that we have our own wallpapers now. You can load your own wall wallpapers instead of just having the black background like it used to be. Uh, so you can just go in into settings and change that. It's in the display option right here. You got a whole bunch to choose from. You can also use your own wallpaper, so that's a pretty big change as far as Kindles go. I mean, it's the first uh, time that we've been able to change the wallpapers on these devices because uh, Amazon's always been so controlling about that kind of stuff, so it's really nice to actually have that option now. I noticed that the camera lays out those weird lines on the screen. Uh, it just picks those up. Some I've noticed in the past some screens pick that up, some don't. This one does, so uh, it just must be the part of the screen technology. It doesn't look like that in person, obviously. So some other changes with the home screen layout here. Uh, I mean, we still have the list up here, so it's similar to the old layout. So you got your different sections, uh, the newsstand, uh, audio books. You can just scroll through them and instead of tapping the name up there as well, you can go through the different sections. So then uh, on this, this is the main home screen we get here by pressing this home button, which is the circle. Uh, and we've also got the recent apps a list right here so this is just straight like Android Lollipop so this is based on Android Lollipop uh, you got the cards here you can dismiss them if you want to uh, we can go ahead and just jump around everything from there uh, over here we've got the recent list so everything you've recently opened gets listed onto right here so you got quick access to them um, so then like if you get something new it'll also get listed above these apps like the Washington Post automatically installs when you set this up and then like new issues will show up above these uh, apps right here so uh, you get the new items listed above this home screen as well you can uh, customize things here so you can create different folders uh, we can go ahead you can just drag them together to create a folder and then um, you can move things around if you don't want some of this stuff like showing up here you want to like hide it down here there is no way to get rid of it apparently um, there's usually with Android you got the X you can like get rid of stuff but there's no option with the Kindle home screen here you do have all these icons by default and then you can move them around is basically your only option and then then create folders as well alright so this is the main Amazon home screen you can install an alternate home screen launcher if you want like Nova launcher if you want to have like a traditional Android setup so I went ahead and installed that uh, it, it along with Chrome I like Chrome better than the Silk web browser the Silk web browser used to have some cool features but they've taken them all away it's basically like a total uh, basic browser now but uh, so you can install those kind of apps but you're not going to be able to do it from the Amazon App Store because they don't carry them you're going to have to use a different alternate app store like I use the one mobile market you can get a whole bunch of apps that aren't available Amazon through here so like any ebook app if you want to like Kobo or Nook or something uh, you can get all those kind of apps from a different app store where you're not going to be able to get them from the Amazon App Store of course but if you did for instance want to read ePubs on here you can load in the OverDrive app from Amazon you don't even have to go anywhere uh, to get that and you can load in ePubs uh, right into this app if you want your Kindle to support ePubs so that's always an advantage of having a tablet over Kindle e-readers you do have support for ePub uh, with the other apps so I mentioned it earlier I'm not a huge fan of Silk uh, they used to have some unique features like it used to have uh, the reading view so it would uh, reformat pages to just show text uh, but for whatever reason Amazon got rid of that so we don't have 
that option anymore. It's just sort of like a basic version of like the Android browser. We've got some options over here, um, like your history and your bookmarks get set up over here. And like whenever you download something, you can hit it. A lot of times, if you download something, you like for, you like don't know where it's located because just how that's how Android works. If you miss your opportunity to hit it with the notification, then you're like, where is it? So the place to go is just to hit the download section right here because there isn't an actual downloads folder on this device like there is traditional Android uh, tablets. So basically, yeah, you can just bookmark, like I said, not a whole lot of options, request desktop site, you can share and add bookmarks, but that's pretty much it for the uh, Fire browser. It's not as advanced as it used to be. They've kind of trimmed it down a lot here. So the Chrome browser I do like better, but uh, you can't use any kind of a... Uh, um, sign in because Google Apps aren't supported so you can't use your bookmarks or a sync or anything like that you can just basically use it another thing I like about Chrome is that the the uh, tabs disappear when you scroll so you get a lot more real estate uh, the uh, Kindle the Silk browser used to have a full screen mode it doesn't have a full screen mode anymore so it has this bar up there in the Silk browser all the time so it removes a lot of screen real estate it's over an inch in fact um, so that's another reason I really like using Chrome instead so most of these are the pre-installed apps on here, except for that Nova one right here. So these are all preloaded. You got your Amazon Photos, you got email, uh, the calendar app. All right, so let's talk about Kindle Books. Uh, this tablet with a lower resolution screen, I don't think it's really that great for e-reading. I mean, there are definitely better options. The text gets kind of pixelated if you're using uh, any kind of text smaller than this. So, I mean, if you like smaller text, you definitely want to get something with higher resolution. Uh, bigger text like this is not so bad, but it is definitely a little bit more fuzzy than, uh, you know, I'm used to with the with the ebook readers that got the 300 pixel per inch nowadays and tablets. A lot of them have well over 200. So, I mean, this at, uh, what is it, 171. So the text is definitely a little more pixelated, but uh, it definitely does serve a purpose for reading. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the reading features in here. So we got the different... Uh, font types in here. Uh, Bookerly is the new uh, one by default, the new default font. It does look uh, pretty good, but it does look a lot different than it does on the e key readers. Um, so uh, we got the Goodreads integration up here. You can share stuff on Goodreads. All right, so you got the usual reading features. Hold down on Word. You get the notes and highlights. You can extend the uh, icon as far as you want. Um, if we pop this up right here, we got the dictionary entry. You can change the dictionary as well. View the full dictionary. Uh, Wikipedia entry so we can uh, just launch this stuff if you wanted to go ahead and get more info we just hit the go to Wikipedia and then we get the option for the web browser since I installed a different one I do have a selection here so then you can just uh, open up stuff and go to the web uh, go right back by hitting back uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the uh, text-to-speech if we got text-to-speech enabled in the reading settings up here it's just in the additional settings menu we can go ahead and hit play Sure, he must be Long John. His left leg was cut off close by the hip, and under the left shoulder he carried a grudge, which he managed with wonderful dexterity. Can also uh, adjust the speed right here. He was very tall and strong, with a face as big as a ham, plain and pale, but intelligent and smiling. Alright, so another option if you have the audiobook installed, you can listen to the audiobook, switch to the audiobook. All right, so the volume is pretty good. It's maxed out right now. It's, uh, the speaker is pretty loud, but if you uh, put it down at all, you can't hear anything very well because it gets muffled really easily with that speaker on the back. From the very first mention of Long John in Squire Trelawney's letter, I had taken a fear in my mind that he might prove to be the very one-legged sailor whom I had watched for so long at the old Ben. So one of the other features you can turn on up here in the settings menu is called WordWise. It gives uh, hints uh, about harder words uh, for kids that are learning to read and whatnot. Obviously, you can see it makes the word spacing quite a bit larger to fit in these suggestions. So one of the other new features is called Kindle Word Runner. Uh, what it does is it flashes screen uh, one word in the center of the screen. Uh, I'm going to show this in a different separate view to go, on, go in a little more detail about it. So obviously, Amazon's devices integrate well with their video services. You got the... Uh, Additional info with the x-ray right here if you wanted some additional info about characters in the videos So that's sort of something uh, unique to Kindle uh, Fire tablets here you get the different x-ray features you can look up characters music trivia uh, All of the uh, through the different videos that support that So obviously video playback is smooth looks good Volume is okay as long as you're not sitting it on a table or something But I've decided to renegotiate Shares. 
So one interesting thing I noticed in the user guide here, it's accessible from the help section. Um, about the micro SD card slot is uh, you can transfer apps, games, uh, music, videos, photos, all that kind of stuff to the micro SD card. Uh, but uh, things like audiobooks, uh, books, uh, Silk browser downloads, and email cannot be transferred to the micro SD card slot. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, audiobooks obviously are quite large sometimes. So um, with the lower limited space, you can't have a whole lot of those on your device at once. So uh, that's kind of strange that they can't be uh, transferred to the micro SD card. So that's just something to keep in mind. But so we've got some different accessibility options now. Uh, I'll go into these with a separate video because it'll take a while to go into them. Uh, the voice view, the screen magnifier. Uh, I've already got the font set to large. I'm going to go back to normal because it's kind of strange. Um, also got the closed captioning for hearing issues. Um, you can also set up things like a, a braille reader on here with a Bluetooth. So there's some different accessibility features as far uh, as these Fire tablets are concerned. All right, folks, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Check out the ebookreader.com for some additional information. Um, like I said, uh, I'm going to be posting a review of the 8-inch Fire HD as well, so the, uh, the newer 8-inch version. Uh, it does have some more upgrades. Uh, it costs $100 more than this, so I don't know if it's going to be entirely worth that, but I will be posting a comparison with it as well, so check the ebookreader.com for some additional info. You can find things like free ebooks and tutorials as well, so uh, thank you guys for watching. You have a good day.